Hello, and welcome to our surgical airway demonstration video. We will be going through the procedure for establishing a surgical cricothyrotomy. This technique is indicated in cases of life-threatening airway compromise, when all other airway interventions have failed, or as directed by the difficult airway guidelines. It's important to note that this procedure is contraindicated for patients under 10 years of age, or when an airway can be obtained by any other means. For this demonstration, we will be using the NAR tracheostomy kit, a 10 milliliter syringe, chlorhexidine, suction equipment, sterile 4x4s, a BVM with oxygen, and a tube holder strap. In preparation for the procedure, identify the airway landmarks and mark the location of the cricothyroid membrane. The thyroid cartilage, the cricothyroid membrane, and the cricoid cartilage are identified. Use the smart mnemonic to assess for any potential difficulties when performing a surgical airway. If possible, pre-oxygenate the patient. Clean the anterior neck with chlorhexidine or the provided disinfecting agent. To locate the cricothyroid membrane, place your non-dominant hand on the chin-neck junction. Slide your index finger down the trachea until you feel the thyroid cartilage, also known as the Adam's apple, and move it down to the soft depression between the thyroid cartilage and cricoid ring. Some patients may require an alternate approach. Locate the sternal notch with your non-dominant hand. Slide your index finger up the trachea until you feel the cricoid ring and move it up to the soft depression between the thyroid cartilage and cricoid ring. Stabilize the trachea by applying finger pressure bilaterally with the thumb and middle finger. With the scalpel, make a vertical incision about 4 to 5 centimeters long through the epidermis and adipose tissue over the membrane, exposing it. Continue to stabilize the trachea. Use your index finger to identify and expose the cricothyroid membrane. Make a horizontal incision about 2 centimeters across the cricothyroid membrane. Take care to avoid making any horizontal incisions into the skin. Insert your finger through the cricothyroid membrane as a placeholder and to confirm the location. Insert the endotracheal introducer bougie caudally into the membrane through the incision. Slide the trach device over the bougie caudally and medially through the incision. Inflate the cuff and then remove the bougie and syringe. Ventilate the patient and confirm placement through ease of ventilation, auscultation, observation of chest wall movement, and appropriate end tidal CO2 waveform. Secure the airway using the tube holder strap, apply dressing to the side if there's bleeding, and contact the medical consult line to advise of the result. An alternate technique and equipment can be substituted. When using the green number 10 scalpel blade and after the horizontal incision of the cricothyroid membrane is performed, Engage the safety mechanism of the blade and use the dull end to confirm and widen the opening of the cricothyroid membrane. If a tracheostomy kit is unavailable, use an adult size endotracheal introducer bougie and a cuffed ET tube no larger than a 6.0. Insert the cuffed ET tube just beyond the cricothyroid membrane, then inflate. Ventilate the patient, confirm placement, and secure the tube. In a real-life cricothyrotomy performed on a living patient, expect a significant amount of blood. This procedure is a tactile skill, and clear visualization may not be possible. Thank you for watching our surgical airway demonstration video. Remember, this procedure should only be performed when other airway interventions have failed or as directed by the difficult airway guidelines. Thanks, and stay safe.